What is a port day? There are basically only three kinds of days on a cruise ship. Embarkation, Embarkation day, day, sea days, days and port, port days. days. And of all the days of those three, port days are the least busy for crew members. For most crew members. Um, because on a port day, the cruise ship is docked out of port and majority of the guests are off the ship doing excursions, exploring the ports, right? So on the ship, there's less crew, uh, passengers, so there's less mouths to feed, there's less people to entertain with activities, there's less people to sell things to. So port days are a lot more relaxed for crew members for the most part compared to sea days, which are slam-packed full of activities for for guests all over the ship there's thousands of people eating at any given moment so you're constantly having to deal with people and food and all the different restaurants and the buffet and stuff like that um and then on sea days there's just nowhere to go when you're at sea so like you're stuck on the ship you got to find stuff to do right but on port days it's it's way better for the sake of you know entertaining as a crew member right so um, and then on port days too, for crew members, because there's less people on the ship, there's less passengers on the ship, there's less to do, there's less work to be done. So that's, so port days are also when, um, crew members are allowed off the ship as well. You know, um, not every pa passenger or not every crew member is allowed off the ship on every port day. Um, but for the most part, you're going to be able to have, you're going to have some time off in the morning or in the afternoon to get off the ship and explore. And that's why some crew members join cruise ships so that so they can travel a little bit and see the world just like a passenger, except we get paid for it. So it's, it's kind of cool, right? The thing about being a crew member, though, is depending on your itinerary, um, it might just be the same three or four ports every single week, you know? So kind of once you've seen them, you've seen them, right? So... It's not necessarily traveling the way you might think it is, you know. But then on the other hand, you know, I had several ports when we would do like the transatlantic crossing or we were changing from one itinerary to the next or we're changing home ports from Miami to, you know, somewhere up in Canada or something like that. On the way there, when we're transitioning to a new home embarkation port, we're stopping along the way for that cruise. And so there were several ports that I didn't see because we only went there once. And I was either working that day and my partner got to get off and explore or I had uh, import manning, which is uh, there's a, a law for crew members on cruise ships that 25% of all the staff have to be on sh the ship at all times, no matter what. And so what Norwegian did is they divided every port day um, into one of f four colors. And then they had a, every month they put a, uh, a calendar down in I-95 um, in the crew areas that said, okay, on this day it's red, on this day it's orange, on this day it's green, on this day it's blue, right? And then depending on, let's say if I was red, that was my import man in color, every port that there was red for that month, I was not allowed to get off the ship. It sucks, but that's that's how it is. You get used to it, you know what I mean? Um, and so if you have a good manager, they take that in consideration and they schedule you to work those shifts because you can't leave anyway. There's nothing worse than not having to work, but also not being allowed off the ship at the same time, you know? So if you had a good man, and then for me, I had one partner in broadcasting, and um, so we just kind of would say, and because on port days, there's less work to do, right? So only one person really needed to be on the ship, you know what I mean, to handle stuff. We also had our, our own rule from our shoreside management and the broadcasting department that said 
at least one broadcast tech needs to be on ship at all times. That was just like a rule from Miami. So we were never allowed to get off the ship together. Um, that's just how it was. So we would have separate colors, usually, probably. And so obviously those days, the other person would get off the ship, right? But at the same time, if it was a day where it was neither of our colors, then we would just have to say, okay, do you want to get off this time? Do you want me to get off this time? Blah, 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 right? So um, that was kind of nice because you could, we could just decide the night before, hey, are you going to get off? No, can I? Great, stuff like that, right? It was a lot easier than, uh, well, sometimes it was easier. Some people aren't as uh, cool with, just communicating, hey, do you want to get off? Do you want me to get off? Blah, 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 blah. So sometimes it is kind of just easier if you have a manager just saying, I don't care what you think, this is how it is. And then people just accept it, right? I was, I felt sometimes I was more giving, you know? So if my partner was like, Sean, like, I really want to get off the ship tomorrow, you know, this girl wants to hang out with me, right? Absolutely, man. Take as much time as you need. I got you. Not a big deal. But I say that assuming that they're going to come back and be like, hey, Sean, thank you so much for letting me get off the ship two days in a row. Whatever you need, let me know. And like, because I'm like that. But some people are not like that. So sometimes it kind of was like, are you going to, is this going to be an even trade here? If I if I work two days in a row and don't get off the ship for three days, are you going to hook me up, you know, next cruise, right? Um, so sometimes just sometimes controlling your own schedule like I did is good. Sometimes it has its negatives, right? And then sometimes having your manager just decide everything for all the employees is better. But then if you get a lazy manager who doesn't take the IPM sheet and says, okay, for all the red days, all the red people are going to work. If, they, if, if they're just, if they're not even paying attention to IPM, it could screw up your entire vacation or your entire work week because on the days you're, on C days you have, or not C, like on port days where you don't have your color, your IPM color, where you could get off, you're scheduled to work like crazy hours so you can't really get off the ship anyway. And then on like the one day of the week where they gave you the most time off, it happens to be your IPM day. So like you can get really frustrated really quickly with management for not like trying their best. But that's the thing, man, like IPM, it's, it can get kind of complicated and there's so many employees on the cruise ship. There's so many crew members. It's just, it's really, it's a daunting task to try to please everybody. Just like it's a daunting task to, for crew members for the cruise ship to please thousands and thousands of guests. There's going to be a handful of uh, people who aren't having the best time. You know what I mean? So, and that's why at one point, not that my I had a lot of issues with like time off and stuff, but um, I just kind of, I changed my perspective on cruise ships to where it was mostly like, I'm here to work. So if I have to work regardless, like, whatever, I'm, that's what I'm here for. And then any time I was able to get off the ship, it was like, oh, yeah, this is a nice reward, you know, because I should be working, right? So I didn't, I, I encourage crew members to not think that you deserve to get off the ship because you're not hired to go on vacation. You're hired to work, you know what I mean? So just change your perspective and, you know, and if you happen to be able to get off on a port day, take advantage of it. But don't complain if you don't get every port day off, you know, and you work a lot every sea day. Guess what? That's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You work crazy hours. You work all the time. Sometimes you get off the ship. You're a crew member. If you want to go on a cruise ship and get off the ship at every port, buy a ticket and be a passenger. It's not hard. But... Going back to you know to portes in general for as for crew members, there's they're 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 very chill. You know, there's some ships that have like no sea days, and they only have port days. One of my ships, we went from Boston to Bermuda, 
and we did we had embarkation day and then we had one sea day to bermuda and then we were in bermuda three days overnights we just docked and then stayed there for three consecutive days and so for three days in bermuda because some of the passengers will even get off the ship and go get like a hotel room in bermuda and they won't come back for three days until the ship leaves again so like there's really not a lot going on those three days um there's still plenty to do some people still have to like you still if you work in the galleys you still got to cook Right. You still got to if you work in the restaurants, you still got to serve the people who come back because some people will get off the ship and come back and eat. You know what I'm saying? So there's still and there's still activities at night. There's still shows. There's still parties at night. I mean, there's still all the things to do. It's just less. Uh, there is just not as much as a sea day because you can get by with doing less because there's just not as many people. You know what I mean? So port days are definitely my my choice of the three days, you know, um, and especially because the way my, how my department was set up, I could get off, as long as I wasn't IPM, I could just get off the ship if I wanted to, and I talked to my, my partner, so, um, poor days are, are pretty fun, you know, and then, you know, you can go on an excursion if you want, you know, stuff like this, so, uh, enjoy those port days, but, uh, don't feel, you know, you're there to work, so, uh, don't, don't look out the, the window and, and say, oh, I wish I could get off. You'll probably be able to get off next uh, on the next cruise.